Hello guys and welcome to my channel I'm Black Operation 1 and welcome to the next episode of Drug Dealer Simulator. Now we are starting a little bit different here. As you can see we are still on the main home screen when you load the game and I will explain that to you in just a second. But before we do get started, if you haven't watched any of my Drug Dealer Simulator content and would like to, you know, learn a few recipes of mine and, you know, a few hints and tips and guides like my latest one, which was being the lockpick, my theory and strategy on the lockpick, which is uh, hopefully will help a few of you out. Um, there is a link to my playlist up the top right there where the arrow is pointing. Click that and go and check it out. And don't forget to like the videos if you do and subscribe as well if you enjoy my content so you don't miss any more uh, or any of my videos that get released. Because I do a lot more than Drug Dealer Simulator. I do a lot of simulation games on here. So, to today's episode. Let's talk about today's episode. Now, today's episode, I've been reading a lot of comments and got a few comments from people about problems that they've had with you know just just like earning respect earning money getting started etc etc so what i'm going to do with this new update that's now come into play which changes the aspect of some things not everything we can still we've done an episode where we've played normally and everything could be still done so what i'm going to do is i'm going to do a sort of a beginner's guide sort of a beginner's guide my way all right so this is how i would play drug dealer simulator but what we're going to do is we're going to play through drug dealer simulator from the beginning up until we unlock the gang okay i'm going to show you guys the ways of doing it and strategies of doing it and you know mixing drugs and making money straight off the bat you know making big money straight off the bat and uh basically how you know just a little guide on how you guys and new people to this game can get started with a new update and how that interferes or affects new people starting this game. Okay, so let's jump into it. So we're going to go new game. We're going to go normal difficulty because I'm going, I would go plateau or plomo, which is obviously a uh, hard mode. Okay, um, but we're going to go normal difficulty like my other playthrough. We're going to go normal difficulty because that is the difficulty that most people are going to pick. You do not want to go help me, mummy. That's just for pussies. So we're going to go with past the bong, which is the normal difficulty, which a lot of new people will be going for. Okay. You too. So, here we are. The adventure is hot. The big question is, is this my story or your story? Let's find out together, shall we? Got that blunt handy? Okay, so this beginning part of the game... Everyone knows it walks you through things, so we, I'm just going to fly through this and skip to the point where we can start mixing, because that's when the true game starts in my eyes. Okay, so I will be a couple of minutes. You, I'm obviously you, you'll see some of this anyway, and uh, you know I'm not going to cut it all out. You'll see some of this, but but yeah. All right, so back in the mo. Yo, hope you're up. I would let you sleep yesterday off, but I have some troublesome motherfucker to attend to, and it can't wait. I'm waiting for you at the main square close to my place. So you know what? Sometimes when I get these so-called uh, second thought kind of thing, I come here. Sit down and just watch this shit. You know that every trap in the U.S. has this bull? 25 million bucks it cost them. Always reminds me of who we are to them. Helps keep me focused. Anyway, you need dope? You write to me. You got the cash for the cartel? I take it. You shit your pants? I need to know before you change your underwear. Straightforward. We're gonna start basic. Grass and amp. Gotta go. We'll get to you later.
Okay, so this is the point where hopefully, well, oh, I thought, hang on, I thought I was bugging out this. It's a freaking train. It shakes the whole place like, whoa, it's like a freaking earthquake. Okay, so this is the point where I'm hopefully, if things go to plan, going to be showing you um, how to get to that big money and, you know, just to get started and to proceed okay so obviously we have only a tiny bit of amp at the moment we have 10 grams of amp so what we're going to do is we've got to go to the gas station and we've got to pick up some additives i'm going to get rid of these a second okay we're going to go and pick up some additives to mix in we're also going to get a more and pestle which i'm hoping i can get i can't remember when i unlock that here's a woman here she's from the beginning i never come here in the beginning no, she's not actually show. If I remember right, you got to unlock Old Market uh, for that. It's been a long time since I started this game, to be honest with you. But that's fine. We do have a mixing mat. And this is what I'm saying. With the basic recipes at the beginning, you need to cut it right. And you also need to make as much money from that product as possible. The clients at the beginning are not too fussy. But what we're going to do is we're going to use straight up baking powder for this. Okay? Alright, you can use sugar but you need more and pestle which is what we're going to be using so we're going to be using sugar and we're going to obviously increase the addictive rate as we get more, a bit more products we're going to need some ibuprofen product ibuprofen pills jeez uh, eventually as well but what we're going to take is we're going to take two packs of baking soda here because that's 12 grams per pack okay so when you do begin, you want to kind of concentrate on the objectives, but also concentrate on your substance and your money. You need to keep that in check. So let's go up and see what we need here for our clients. Uh, so we want 2 MJ, 2 Amp, 2 Amp. So we need 4 Amp straight off the bat there. So that's cool. So we need to drag, let's drag the MJ into that one first. And then we want to drag the amp onto here. Okay, now what I'm going to do here is a 10, what's the... So you want to check your client quality. So they are rather high quality, so you don't want to be mixing too much. So I would suggest doing a 10-3. Okay, so 10 amp to 3 baking soda. We're going to apply that. I'm not even, um, okay, let's just do, I'm just going to put the amp, amphetamine mix one, because I'm not going to bother naming it, you can name it whatever you want, um, but yeah, so you're going to, bear in mind there is going to be a processing loss here, so we should get just over 12 grams, if not just under, once it's done, oh, we've got no processing loss, oh, that's good, so yeah, it is an odd chance you get that, but that's good anyway, so. That's cool. That helps us out. All right. So what do I need? I need two, two, and two. So let's package up two. You gotta be smart about package sizes, huh? Smaller two. bags take more <sighs> more space per gram than the big ones. Use larger bricks for wholesale transport and small ones for direct deliveries. I didn't even accept them. <laughs> Don't do that. <laughs> I thought I accepted them. Ah. <laughs> oh. I always do this. I always do this. Accept the bloody things. Thank you. Okay. Don't make that mistake. Make sure you accept your orders. Otherwise, you're going to look like an idiot like me, aren't you? Hmm? Right, so, we've got one there, which we'll do first. So, the police are around now. Uh, they're not out in force, but they are around. We do have to look out for them. But this is what I'm mean also intrigued about, yeah? How this is actually going to, like the new police mechanics, how are they going to affect newbies? And like the sewer system and that. How are they going to affect new players? But there, so that's those three done, okay? So you always want to try and make sure that your respect is up top as well. So West Hill Town we've maxed out at the moment. Um, so you always want to try and keep your respect as high as possible. I know it's hard during the day, but then what you can 
do during the day as you saw me pick up here i picked up two spray cans one was in the alley by two towers one was by the supermarket vent um you know you can pick them up and tag during the day just keep your respect up but apart from that just make sure you keep it relatively high okay so because we've got west old town max we can unlock east old town now so we're going to do that all right and there we get to pick a tag we're just going to pick any let's pick that one why not i've never used that one all right if you can't yeah if you can't buy um, find any spray cans uh go and buy them they're not expensive but there's usually a spray can around uh so we need to buy a spray can but actually we do need to buy a spray can we need and one more spray can how much money do we have 172 so let's go and buy a spray can I think you do need to do it. You might get away without doing it. Yeah, see, five over here. I wonder if they're going to be as harsh as they are when you're at a later game, like where I am. We'll buy one. Okay, Miss Schrader. So that's Hank Schrader's daughter there. So let's go over to East Oak Town. Let's do some tags. How many do we need to do? Four. So this is pretty simple. Following the objectives is pretty simple. It's just mainly the mixing, making money, and keeping your respect up. That's what a lot of people struggle on, and that's what I plan on doing. Keep in helping. mind, gaining respect is one thing. Keeping it is another. Respect in neighborhoods slowly drops in time. So don't forget to keep those sales flowing. Low respect is less sales. Less sales is less money. And less money is... Huh, well, it just sucks, okay? Yeah, okay. So, yeah. It is hard to keep respect up, especially during the day. During the night time, it's easy because you can deal to your heart's content. You don't gain, obviously. You've got to keep an eye on your risk factor and your exposure factor. All right? Uh, during the day, these increase a considerable amount. Um, but during the night they decrease okay so you want to work nighttime only really for dealing drugs so during the day you want to concentrate on tagging you can do deals a lot of deals during the day I've got a lot of videos on daytime dealing um, go and check them out if you haven't uh, but yeah you can do deals during the day I'm not saying you can't it's easy really relatively easy but for beginners we are going to stick I would stick to spray can only Okay, all right. Uh, so we need to find a potential client with a free thing. Okay, so we're gonna do that next. So clients, a lot of people struggle with clients. So what I would do is use your cheapest product. So we're gonna use MJ. Um, I'm gonna actually stick to two grams, which leaves us six grams. We will have to order more. So stick to MJ for dealing out free product. Don't use anything else because at the moment, yes, you're paying for it, but eventually you'll be growing your own weed. So it's going to be cost you nothing and uh, it's going to gain you clients because it's not messed around with. It's not, you know, there's no additives or anything. So it's just pure weed. And uh, that's going to bring in your clients quicker and easier. Obviously at the beginning, you get clients easy anyway. But all through the game as you progress until you've reached the maximum for dealers and clients, I would just deal hand out free marijuana samples all the time nothing else if you want to risk it but something else then go ahead but i would just deal with your mj uh so we need to unlock here so we need 700 with a minimum dealer level of four or six seven eight so that's fine um we've got six grams of mj we need to pay eddie off so how much do we owe you eddie so we owe 120 and we have, wrong button, 150. So let's pay Eddie off and we can do another order. This time we are going to do a small amp order and uh, a bigger uh, grass order. To all units, suspicious individuals the so yeah, so far the police are no problem. There won't be an issue at the moment. They might stop you once or twice, but they're not gonna be a massive issue. Just with this new update, you know, the police are broken in my eyes. Uh, 
you're supposed to really learn the mechanics of the AI by playing, just learning their paths and etc. etc. But I think they've done a lot of work to the AI and the police. They just don't seem right. They seem iffy, you know. Uh, so we've got 160. So we can get 10 grams of that. We should be able to get 20 grams of that. Can we get 10? No, because that's going to be... That's going to be not enough. So let's knock this... No, we can't. Okay, right. Let's go... 20. And we'll just order that for the time being. That's fine. Uh, we need to deliver 2 grams of MJ. So I'm trying to do this as quick as possible because obviously a certain time to do it. But I'm also trying to show you how to get started. And, uh, you know, over the next couple of episodes, this is going to be, it's not going to be all in one episode. But this episode is basically how to get started. And your first cut, you know, your first uh, mix for amp to get you starting to cut and make profit from your amp. Because amp is the money maker at the moment. Because you can double your product, really, you know? You can easily double your product in amp. So back to the computer. Got some more orders. Oh, get away. So we got a new dealer. Ah, new client, sorry, which is like, you know, giving out the free samples, you will eventually get clients. Sometimes it takes a couple free samples, sometimes it doesn't. Okay, she wants two grams of weed and another two grams of weed. And another two grams of weed. We don't have all that, but that's fine. We can go and deal with these two. The order we put in, which we've got to wait for, won't be too long. But eventually, when you start getting bigger orders, what I will, I will mention is don't accept any orders until you have the product okay so you saw me accept orders and i don't have the product i know i don't have the product but the product is on order now if you're getting to bigger orders like you need to drop like 10 grams off or even six grams say okay it's a reasonable amount and you've only got three grams four grams and you think well i didn't know i didn't have that you haven't put an order in, or even if you are waiting for a big order, because obviously the bigger the order, the longer it takes. I wouldn't accept, because there is a time limit before that client gets bored and goes home. And if that client gets bored and goes home, you lose respect. And if you keep doing it to the same client, you will lose that client. Okay, so make sure you have enough product before you put the order in. Okay, but we're right. We we've only got thirty minutes to wait, and uh, yeah, this uh, client is fine. You know, we should be we'll be fine. So we can skip time here, and there you go. There, see, <laughs> it's instant. Because uh, that's obviously thirty minutes in game, not thirty minutes in real time. Okay, the time goes by in game time, not real time. So bear that in mind as well. All right. So if you got to wait two and a half hours, that's two and a half hours in game. But the clients are not going to wait two and a half hours for their dope. They're going to go somewhere else. And you don't want that. You do not want that. But anyway, so we've got 20 grams of MJ now. We can make this deal. We can also deal out even more free samples, which increases our client. All right? Because once you've got the clients, as long as you keep, you know, feeding those clients, so to speak, you know, keep dealing to those clients um, without stopping or making them wait too long, you won't lose those clients. Those clients are yours forever. Alright. So getting those clients obviously is the... You know, that's, that's, that's... It is easy getting the clients. But again, that's coming from someone who's put hundreds and hundreds of hours in this game. Um, you know, but once you get those clients, just by handling out free samples and making sure you have decent respect in the area. Once you start getting those clients, you'll never lose them. So don't be afraid about your clients. So if you've got to make them wait a little bit, let them wait a little bit. It's not going to hurt them. So let's have a look around before night time. Because it's nearly police hours. So 8 o'clock is police hours. 7 o'clock could be the warning. 8 o'clock is police hours. And police hours is when you are not allowed on the street. But you do 
gain more XP and more cash or deliveries during the night time and it lowers your exposure and risk factor. So you want to deal only at night time, not during the day. I cannot state that enough. So if we're lucky, we should get a few more extra clients here for East Oak Town. Now I'm not going to, as you can probably tell, I haven't put anything on my, you know, I haven't pumped any of my, uh, my skill points here. I've not done any of that. We're going to be going through that probably in the next episode. Next episode, we're going to go through skill points. Because there's certain ones I recommend you start with as a newbie. Uh, oh, excuse me. Okay, so we've got a couple more orders. Two grams of weed. And we have a new climb. Two grams of weed. Nice. Alright, so I suggest you also carry a couple of grammars around. A couple of free samples around with you. Because I've always gone around without free samples. I've gone, oh, someone could do with a free sample there. By the time I've gone back, got a free sample... Come to the location of the storeroom, and they've gone. So always carry a couple of free samples around with you, especially at the beginning. You never know when you're going to bump into someone who you can give a free sample. And you'll always can tell because they've got a question mark above the head, as you see. That's what you want to be careful of, is the old bill. But this shouldn't be a problem at the moment, but I would stay away and nonetheless. Like I said, they are a little bit broken in my eyes at the moment. And it's not just my eyes, there's actually a few people out there that watch my series who also think the same way. So just be warned about the police. Just stay away. Just give them a wide berth. Even if you've only got, say, a gram on you. Or even if, you know, you're coming close to um, making your delivery. So let's see how much we owe Eddie. We shouldn't owe him that much. So you can pay Eddie off any time. You haven't got to, like, you know, max him out. So if you could buy, like, $170 worth of products, you haven't got to spend $170 or buy $170 of product before you drop the cash off. See what I mean? Look, there you go. If I have a free sample, I wouldn't have been able to give it to this guy. And there's one behind him as well. Look. So that's, again, two potential clients. So I think I already give free samples to these guys. But then, like I said, sometimes... It does take a couple samples before you get them. And each area with the with clientele, I will say now, each area there is a maximum amount of clientele you can have per area. And eventually there is a maximum amount of dealers and clients you can have in total. Okay, so to increase that, eventually we'll be able to buy properties or hideouts. And that will increase how many clients we can have uh, and dealers per area. Okay, so bear in mind you can only have a maximum amount of clients in a certain area so this time we're going to go for 20 grams of amp here it should take about 30 minutes again might be a little bit more go on eddie eddie thank you 30 minutes all right so we've got another order for two grams of fat see it's quite simple at the beginning okay i'm not saying it's not simple it is rather simple at the beginning to start get off there thank you it is pretty simple to start with. It's just uh, cutting. Obviously, you need to try and make as much fat as you can at the beginning. Because the more fat, the less you've got to pay for. And the more you can cost your own weeks. We need a hot seller at the beginning, believe me. Okay, so we do have a job here of unlocking East Oak Town and Open Market. So we are coming close to the end of this episode. And uh, another thing, whilst we're here not doing anything, down here is your reputation bar. All right. So the more reputation you gain from your areas, okay, the higher this bar is going to be. This doesn't have anything to do with your main reputation. Okay. So your experience, this is to do with your area experience. So the higher reputation. And so say you've unlocked Old Market and you've got all these areas unlocked, blah, blah, blah. And they're all green. This bar is going to be quite high. Obviously, if they drop over time, this bar is going to lower. Now, the higher this bar, the higher your prices. Okay. 
So eventually you can fill this bar right up and you can have your prices at max. Okay, there's only a certain price you can set them to, you know, for max price you can set them to. But yeah, so you want to increase this bar to earn the majority, you know, the most money you can. Alright, so whilst we're waiting, I thought I'll explain that. Because some people might not understand that fully. So we want 2Gs of amp and 2MJ. But we are starting to get bigger orders now. You know, we've ordered 20 grams of weed and 20 grams of amp. And as each, you know, level increase in yourself, and as each area unlocks, so the more you progress, in other words, uh, the bigger orders you can put in and the bigger orders you have to give out. Okay. So do bear that in mind as well. I don't have a free sample, but I've already given him like two, three samples. So he's going to have to wait. I'm busy selling my amp. Oh, you him? Dead drops ready. It's in the industrial pile of pallets. That's nice. That's up by the uh, underground system. Which is the way to get to sector B. Okay, so when it comes to mixing 20 grams of amp, it's not like mixing the 10 grams of amp to 3 grams of uh, baking soda. Okay, so baking soda and sugar are your lowest of low for byproduct. Um, the basically baking soda and sugar have like the lowest amounts of toxicity, addictive levels, etc. etc. I can't remember all the fine details of all this. There is guides out there on Steam that I know about that give you the toxicity levels of each product and the addictive levels of each product, etc. etc. Okay, but baking soda and sugar are exactly the same. Okay, um, we can only start really with baking soda because sugar you need to grind or more in a pestle. Um, but so we can only start with baking soda. But sugar is a lot cheaper and a better product than baking soda. That's why a lot of recipes are used in sugar. Okay, but baking soda is a great one to start with. Okay, so we're not going to do 10 grams with 3 grams because that means we're going to add 6 grams to 20 grams. So we're not going to do that. That's not how it kind of works. We are going to do 5 grams instead. We're going to knock a gram off. So I would personally do it from. 20 grams upwards you want to do five grams of baking soda until you can start adding more additives and then you want to kind of play around a bit and alter it from there but i have recipes obviously i'm going to be using so i would just keep it as pure this product as pure as you can at a precise moment in time because we have very high you know high clients all right the clients we got require a high standard all right so i'm just going to have this put this in that mix too now, hopefully, there's not going to be a process loss. Hopefully, we're going to get lucky. Because there is a 0 to 0.5% process loss. And we did get a process loss. We didn't get much. Okay, that's fine. Uh, and you can't... You could mix it with that one, but we're not going to. All right. So, that's just took me some time to do. But that's fine. Let's go and quickly, before night time comes in, so police hours... Because I don't want to do police hours this episode. I'm going to do police hours on the next episode. Uh, we've got two grams and two, two twos and two twos. Okay, so that's easy. So two and two. I need to try and squeeze these in. Hey, do you have anything in the Ding dong, motherfucker. Bedtime. During police hours, you should remain Run home. away! Quit him! But we the bad guys, we don't give a fuck. The police do, though. So you keep an eye on them and better stick to the shadows. Okay, so that is what I'm on about there, alright? Now, the... Not this update, but I think it was the update beforehand, which was the... Uh, pimp my ghetto one They changed the way the police go and I keep forgetting they come down this freaking alleyway and as I was oh, coming around damn man, I almost shit my pants. I suppose you've gone all the way though <laughs> Okay, so yeah, so I keep forgetting to come down this alleyway. Oh, oh you're a fugitive now How much dialogue the policeman that chased you will probably recognize you so watch out 
Others will be more alerted for naughty-looking assholes like you running around the area. Better keep a low profile. So, yeah. Okay, can I speak now? Thanks. Right. So, yeah. So, I keep forgetting about this alleyway. This is what I'm saying. You've got to keep on guard from the police during, during the day because anything can happen. And it just so happens to be that as soon as I got to that corner, the police come around it just as police hours kicked in. So, yeah. But that's fine. We made it away. <laughs> it don't really matter. Uh, it doesn't matter about the future design. It just ignore that. All right. That doesn't affect you, really. In a way, it doesn't affect you. You still got to be careful. Police hours, you got to be careful anyway. But, yeah. Anyway, guys. That is the end of this episode. I hope you enjoyed it. Now, all you regular people to my drug dealer simulator. This, I, we are continuing the main playthrough. This is just going to be a tiny little, you know, a mini-series. Um, of maybe two, three, maybe four episodes uh, to help new people out to this game on making big money and earning a lot of respect at the beginning of the game and a couple of guides, okay? Yo, uh, mixing guides, that is. So, yeah, this is all this going to be. It's little mini-series. I'm going to be bringing one episode out a week and the rest of the episode of the Drug Dealer Simulator because I'm now bringing, what, three, I think it is, out a week? The rest of the Drug Dealer Simulator episodes are going to be back onto the normal one. And, uh, yeah, so... The next episode we're going to be doing on this one is we are going to be doing night hour, you know, police hours. So I better actually stop it there, but there, pause it there. We are going to be, I am going to be showing you police hours, and then hopefully we're going to be unlocking Old Market, and we're going to be getting into the next, um, the next recipe mix, which is where we get to the proper recipe mixes, as I call them. Okay, so that's adding proper addictive additives and more toxicity, you know, more toxic stuff. Okay, so we're going to be a bit, a bit more precise with them. So that's going to be next episode for this one. And if you guys who are regulars have checked this episode out and have made it this far, thank you for the support. And on the next normal episode, okay, we are going to be looking into, well, something I've been talking about for a while now and I still haven't done, which is the outdoor strains of weed. We are going to be doing that. Um, and I think that is on Saturday, if I remember rightly. Because it's, yeah, Thursday when this comes out. And yeah, so Saturday. So that's Saturday. So yeah, make sure to tune in then for that as well. So thank you everyone for watching. If you did enjoy this video, like it. If you, uh, you know, like the concept of doing this sort of beginner's guide, you know, comment and let me know your thoughts on it. And uh, yeah, so thank you everyone. And until next time, remember to have fun, keep gaming, and I'll see you in the next video. And bye-bye.